Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. This time it's of a pair of stereo headphones, Dynabase, and they're from a company called SoundLogic. All right, so these are a pair of wired headphones. They definitely will do fit in the range of, um, I don't know, I was, they're affordable, let's put it that way. Uh -huh. And that's actually one of the reasons that I purchased this pair. Um, I do have quality headphones, um, actually, uh, just a quick plug, I love the Razer Krakens that I have on my computer. However, I'm not going to bring those outside. <laughs> so, anyway, and they're kind of way too big. Um, so this is um, supposed to be something I can carry with me on, in my travels, and if I pull them out of my bag, whoop, good to go, plug them into the laptop, there we go. And if I do lose them, which I don't lose things, um, but if something does happen, I'm not going to be completely heartbroken. So, the box, just look at the box real um, I I do like the box design, I do like this window where you can see how half of this, the unit, um, and it's a pretty classy picture, I must say. Black and red always helps it with the classiness. Um, all right, there's a side. It'll be interesting to see if this is actually metal or just shiny plastic. Um, all right, on the back, uh, let's see. Um, okay, just a clearer picture of what we saw on the front. And then, okay, those three icons we've already seen. And uh, 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 um, all right, I'll go ahead and just uh, post up those specs for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and without further ado, open up this pair. Alright, so took off the little sticker that was here, and now I'm going to open it. Okay. Huh. Alright, so far so good. They actually do have some weight to them. Again, not super heavy, of course, but they do have a little mass, which is good. I was kind of worried they'd be like super ultra featherweight coming from cheap material, not from high end material. <laughs> um, all right, so, but right now, these, I would say they about the weight you'd expect. Um, they are light, but they're not, again, they're not super light. So I say that's a good medium. Um, let's see here now, let's do the metal test. Where did I brought my, well, get my little magnet out here. Now, of course, since the speakers um, have metal, um, obviously metal components inside, and magnets even for that case, right? Um, but I can still, by using my little magnet here, I can still try to see if this is, uh, you know what, I don't, that, 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 is, that is plastic. Um, but let's see if these bands are metal. Okay, so at least that component right there of the headband is in fact metal. Not that, but that. Okay, so let's extend this out here. Um, oh, that's cool. If you can see, they have little number numbers next to the different stops, so you can uh, memorize what number you are. So if someone changes it, you'll know exactly how to get back to your settings. Um, that there is not metal either, so it seems metal is restricted to just that part right there. Okay, they talked about the padded headband. Um, yes, that is true. You can see here that is padded. Um, the actual, this pretty good padding. Um, the ear cup is nice and large. So, although it, let me see, I'll put it over my ear real quick here. Okay. Um, so with this size of ear cup, at least for myself, um, this is a, it's on the ear, but it's so close to actually going over your ear, it's kind of in the middle. So it sits over your entire ear and starts to curl around, so it should have pretty good sound isolation. Um, I'm pretty sure though these would still be considered on ear. Okay, so um, let's talk, oh yeah, on the wire here. Do we have a remote? Yes, yeah, so we have a one little pinhole, which is the mic, I'm almost sure about that. And then of course we have a button. Um, so it's a, uh, I don't know, um, if you can, yeah. All right, let me, I'm looking real here on the number four is, okay, the multi-function button. It's play, pause, answer, call, end a call. Um, so right here. So, okay, so it does have some um, functions to it. Um, actually a few of them multifunctional button right okay and let's talk a look at the finish here um, yeah so you can see 
the finish it does have a reflective of course you know it's clean now but even so still looks classy although again it's still just plastic all right at this point i'll go ahead and uh test them out okay so i've had the chance to use these um and before we go over how they sound i was just going to show you the um folding feature um, so you can see it firsthand. So you grab here, you grab here, and then you kind of bend it in, and you'll definitely feel there's a stop. And once you pass it, they just kind of drop in like that, and then do it on the other side, and there you go. Okay, so. All right, so they do fold. Uh, okay, now let's get back to how they sound. How they sound? Um, well, I tested them on two devices. The first device was my computer. I have, um, I used the breakaway cable on my computer that is attached to the back that comes with my Kraken headphones. Um, so I went ahead and connected, and that's just an extender, so you don't have to reach behind your uh, computer tower every time you want to unplug your headphones. So I plugged this in to that, and then that went to the back of my computer, okay? Um, so, and again, that cable I'm talking about, that extender cable is about me, you know, about that long. So it's not a whole bunch of extra resistance so that I don't feel that it diminished the sound at all. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and listened to a uh, video, I guess, on YouTube. And, um, well, they didn't sound horrible, um, but the, what I did notice is that I had to go to the master volume on my computer, turn bring that up to 100 then go to the YouTube video turn that volume up to 100 so and then it was adequate I would say so if you were you know in the lobby or something it would be loud enough to drown out the people around you um, but again that's not a lot of room because that was already at 100 um, and keep in mind there are there's no volume adjustment on the unit itself so you're totally dependent on the device so all right, but I wanted to test it on one other um, device, so I went with the mobile because, um, again, I thought, you know, this is mainly for mobile, at least in my use. So I hooked it up to this MP3 player, and you might recognize this MP3 player, but uh, I use this one because it's a real no-frills MP3 player. So I use this little um, guy, and, well, the sound improved. Um, it was louder. Um, again, I turned it up to a full volume, and it was better than it was on the computer. Um, and I would say it was about maybe twice as loud. Uh, but if you're really one of those people that wants, you know, ear explosion um, volume <laughs> levels, this is, um, this, I don't think these can get there. Um, at least on the two devices I used. Maybe you have some other player that might allow you to do that. Who knows? But, okay. So with that being said, I will go into the quick that this is, as you can guess, this was just a quick out of the box, tested on a few things. I don't have longevity um, data on this, and I say that because this is something that you might use quite a bit, and there might be, you know, certain elements that might wear off after a while. Will this go flat and not be spongy anymore? Will this joint break? I don't know. Um, they don't feel like they're ready to fall apart at this moment, but as with headphones and things like that, you really kind of have to do the longevity thing in... Yeah, so I can't give you any feedback on that right now. So now, with that being said, do I recommend these? Um, yes, but it's only, yes, but it depends on the price. If you get these on a really good deal, I'm talking sub twenties or maybe yeah, sub twenties. It's totally worth it. Go for it. Um, anything more than that, I would save your money um, and put invest it in a better pair. So, but that being said, it could be um, a great pair to give to your young ones that kind of like to destroy things um, because the sound quality is pretty good so you won't feel like you're <laughs> chipping them, <laughs> you know. Um, but at the same time, if they do break them, you know, your, your pocketbook doesn't hurt too bad. 